Hey friends, Ash here with GentSense. Hope you're doing really well. It's Aqua de Jo time. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights. Yeah, check out that, that bottle. Kind of cool. I'm also going to show you the presentation, let you know what I think about this one. And of course, let you know how I think it stacks up against Profundo. That's not all though. I'm also going to be giving away a full-size bottle of Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights. Yeah, scoop this up so I can give it away to one of you guys. You're welcome. Seriously though, I am gonna give this away. And as you can see right there, it's still sealed. Yeah, look at that, not messed with. So stay tuned later on in the video, I'll go over that giveaway. All right, let's jump into it. Let's check out Profundo Lights. I did a first impression on Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights back when this came out, and I did like it. thought it was pretty good. That being said, when I did the first impression, didn't like it immediately quite as much as Profundo. This one actually, for whatever reason, just works fantastically off my skin. I get great feedback when I wear this fragrance. I get good projection. I get good longevity, and I like what they did with the DNA. This is, right now, the Aqua de Jo that I reach for the most. So. Let's see if, with further wearing, Profundo Lights gained on Profundo a little bit. First off, let's go ahead and check out that presentation. On the front of the box, you have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size, and the concentration. And like I mentioned before, I do like this kind of reflective look that the lettering has on the front of the box. It looks pretty cool. You got the Giorgio Armani logo at the top of the box. Nothing on the sides. On the back of the box, you're gonna find just a mess of information. That's where you're going to find your ingredients and also your barcode. And then on the bottom of the box, that's where you're gonna find your badge code. The badge code here is 38U11MT. And here we've got the bottle. It's got a really nice gradient, kind of a deeper blue at the top, goes to clear at the bottom. You've got your name of the house and the fragrance right there on the front. Again, top of the cap, Giorgio Armani logo. On the back is actually where you're going to find your badge code. It's right down toward the bottom, actually with a sticker on the back of the bottle as well. It's a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally you would see the badge code on the bottom of the bottle, a lot of times with a little sticker there, but with this fragrance on the back. Cap does click into place and I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys so you can see how the atomizer works. Here we go. Nice. So Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights, is this redundant if you already own Aqua de Jo Profundo? Uh, sort of, I wouldn't say it's fully redundant. They definitely do things a little bit differently and it seems to be split right down the middle. Half of the people seem to like Profundo more, the other half like Profundo Lights more. I'll talk a little bit about how Profundo Lights smells to me. I'll quickly run through that and then go over some of the differences between this and Profundo. When you first spray Profundo Lights on, you do get that Aqua de Jo aquatic marine accord, which you would expect, but it's not as in your face as in Aqua de Jo Profundo. In Profundo Lights, it is reined in a little bit. It's not as brisk, it's not as sharp, it's not quite as salty as in Aqua de Jo Profundo. You also have citrus in here with green mandarin, but I will say that I pick up a little bit more citrus in Profundo than I do Profundo Lights. That being said, there is still some here that you pick up, but it has more of a green feeling to it. It's, it's smoother, it's a little bit, just ever so slightly more mature, I would say, than Profundo. And it makes use of cardamom, a green cardamom note that you're not gonna find in Profundo. So you pick that all up in the opening, it actually smells really nice. And I will say that in the opening, my wife actually prefers Profundo Lights to Profundo, which is just pretty crazy because she really likes Profundo. But she enjoys this one just a little bit more in the opening. And I think it's because it's not quite, like I said, as sharp, as brisk. It's, it's a little bit smoother, a little bit rounder. As Profundo Lights dries down, it takes on more of a woody effect, a woody aspect. So you're going to be getting balsam fir through the mid and additional woods in the base that you're not going to find in Profundo. So Profundo takes a more mineralic, uh, more aromatic turn through the mid into the dry down. And while Profundo Lights does have those aromatic notes that it shares with Profundo, 
Profundo Lights makes more of a focus or puts more of a focus on the woody aspects of the synth as it dries. So whereas Profundo, you're going to be hit with some musk, you're going to be hit again with those mineral notes as well as the cypress and rosemary. This one, you're going to be hit with balsam fir, with vetiver on top of the already existing rosemary and cypress. You get a touch of cedar, touch of patchouli in the base of Profundo Lights as well. Very clean. It's not an earthy patchouli or anything like that. It's a just washed patchouli, which is how I like to say it sometimes. On the whole, though, if you want to compare them just in a really simple kind of way, I would say sweetness wise, frankly, they're both about the same. Maybe you could say one is a little bit sweeter in the opening and one is a little bit sweeter through the mid, but overall, pretty much the same in terms of how sweet they are. I would say Profundo is a little more aggressive. Like I said, a little sharper, a little brisker, uh, frankly, a little bit fresher, I would say. Profundo Lights is going to be a little bit smoother, uh, ever so slightly deeper. Some people may say richer than Profundo. It's very obviously the same DNA here, which you would expect because one is a flanker and one is a flanker of that flanker so they should be pretty similar and they are but they have their nice differences as well between the two for me i still prefer profundo this is the one that i would reach for the most often i enjoy that that more aggressive salty marine opening now that seems a little weird if you've watched my channel because I love green notes and fragrances and Profundo Lights actually takes the green aspects that they put into Profundo and amps it up ever so slightly with that cardamom and uh, the bit of woodiness that it has as it dries down that helps accentuate the greenness of the fragrance. But actually for the DNA here, I actually think Profundo is better just for me. My wife overall loves them both. She said ever so slightly, she prefers Profundo Lights. So we're split a little bit there, but I think both of these are actually really good. And I will say that from my first impression until now, Profundo Lights has grown on me. So I do like it more now than when I first tried it. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes you try a fragrance and after more wearings, it gets boring. You don't really dig it. It doesn't work for you. Profundo Lights is good. Each time I've worn it, I've liked it a bit more. So that's a positive. Now, in terms of performance, Profundo actually works better for me. I get more projection from Profundo. I get a little better longevity. And, and this is something that if you look online, you're going to see so much crap on either side. You're going to have people that say, oh, man, Profundo didn't last for me at all. Profundo lasts, lasts forever. And you're going to get some people that say the, the opposite. I can just tell you guys how it works for me and hopefully it's similar to how it works for you. So Profundo, I get more projection, get a little more longevity. Profundo Lights though is not a weak fragrance. We're talking about six hours in terms of longevity and that's with moderate application. If you spray more times, it'll last longer. You know, if you hit yourself with eight sprays, obviously it's gonna last longer than if you hit yourself with four. It's just common sense. Projection with this one is more moderate. It is, like I said, a little bit lower than Profundo. Profundo's opening just really, really projects for me strongly. Uh, Profundo Lights, a little more mellow. I'd say moderate overall though, it's not bad. In terms of seasons, spring, summer, fall, uh, maybe even winter. I mean, it's aqua de you know, you can wear it whenever you want, doesn't matter. It's gonna smell really good in the winter actually. A lot of times these aquatic type scents, spray them on in the winter time, it gets this nice iciness to them. It makes them really brisk, even more so than in summertime. But if you're just being generic and you just wear things, you know, when the vast majority of people tell you you should wear them, spring, summer, daytime. Like I said, though, just wear it whenever you want. Who cares? Anybody going to bust down your door? The Aqua de Joe police, you know, they're going to bust down your door and smash a bottle over your head if you wear it in spring uh, during the night or winter during the day. I don't think so. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway here. So it's for this bottle right here, Aqua de Joe Profundo Lights, 75 mil size bottle, which is this size right here. If you want to be entered in this giveaway, you need to be subscribed to the channel. So if you're not, you got to do that. You have to like the video. You have to leave a comment below saying that you want to be entered in the giveaway 
for Profundo Lights. And what you have to do is tell me what is your favorite Aqua de Jo fragrance to date? It can be any of them. It can be the original, it could be Essenza, it could be uh, Aqua de Jo Blue Edition, it could be Profumo. I don't care. You let me know what your favorite is. I'm gonna let this one run for about 10 days from the time that I post this video. Then I'm gonna pick a winner, be a random comment picker, post it up on the community tab. So if you're subscribed, you should see that. If you're the winner, hit me up, I'll ship this out to you. And we'll make this one worldwide. So good luck. Now really quickly, a few alternatives to Profundo Lights. So some other fragrances that you should consider if you like Profundo Lights. Things that are in a similar style, we'll say. So I'm gonna hit you with three alternatives here. The first one is the most obvious one, but it's still valid. An alternative to Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights. Yeah, just Aqua de Jo Profundo. They're close enough. It's an obvious alternative. This one you can find at discounters nowadays because it's been out for a minute. Profundo Lights, you can't quite yet, though obviously eventually you'll be able to. So Profundo, that's your first alternative to Profundo Lights. Next up, a blue aquatic type fragrance that does have some aromatic facets to it as well. Polo Blue Eau de Parfum. A little bit overlooked nowadays, doesn't get talked about all that much, but this one is a solid fragrance with high versatility that people in general really love. And then an alternative that gives you a bit of sweetness as well as the aquatic feel that you're going for if you're looking for uh, Profundo Lights. It's gonna be Azaro Chrome Extreme. Of all these fragrances, I believe that this one right now is the least expensive. So if you're on a budget, it's worth checking out. And it does have a bit of a similarity to Profundo and Profundo Lights. Not the exact same, but like I said, in the same family, the same style. All of those really nice compliment pullers, all of them extremely versatile. Hard to go wrong with any of them if we're just talking day-to-day -day use. So there we go, Aqua de Joe Profundo Lights. It is solid, it is a very nice fragrance. I do prefer Profundo, but my wife prefers this one. Again, if you wanna be entered in that giveaway, make sure to do that below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.